All right, so this is my uh, current transformer winding station here. I've got this little jig built, and I just wanted to walk you through it a little, little quickly so you can see how I do it. Uh, this is a piece of plywood, three quarter inch, that I have uh, C clamped to my tabletop here so it doesn't move. And I've got this uh, U shaped section cut out of it here. And that's so that when I set my current transformer, when I pull down here to wind it, uh, I've already started winding this one, as you see. Uh, it uh, allows me to pass my uh, spool of wire through the middle of it here. And uh, you can see that I have a block of wood on each side here to keep the uh, transformer from falling off the uh, plywood. And then I've got a block of wood back here. It, you can see how it's stepped so that as the current transformer gets thicker, um, I just pull it out and it continues to hold it in place so it doesn't flop around anywhere. It just kind of holds it in place. And then uh, I'll wind it here a little bit for you so you can see how I do it. I just take my spool of wire here, which has a couple hundred feet, a few hundred feet of uh, magnet wire on it. And then I just go to town and I, I wind away and it goes pretty quick. And uh, it's, uh, let's see, I've been doing this a little bit, so uh, it doesn't take much time and, uh, to wind these once you get rolling. And they just count as you're doing it, and then keep a little tally every time I, I count to 100. I just keep a tally so I keep track of how many times I've wound this. This has right now 4,000 windings on it, uh, and it really uh, doesn't take as long as you might think to do that once you get rolling. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to show, it, show you what uh, I have set up here so that um, makes it easier for you to build your own. Thanks. Okay, well this is an example of a uh, ferrite toroid and uh, what it looks like. And this is really too small to be workable because it's, they're really hard to wind when they're this small. I really recommend getting something larger like this. Um, this is about 7 inches in diameter and this is much easier to uh, work with. You get much more power and uh, just a lot more workability to it. Uh, this is an example of a smaller uh, current transformer I wound. Uh, when I was doing some experiments, and um, you know, it, it, it can work, it did produce power. Uh, you'd need quite a few more of these wound together or wired together in order to produce a, a decent amount of power. This is a current transformer I bought on eBay, it was pre wound and dipped in epoxy. And really, you know, I thought it might be an easy way to do it, but this hasn't really been tuned properly, and so uh, I don't recommend just buying pre wound ones. This is a uh, little jig I built here and uh, to wind the uh, smaller current transformers. Uh, I just uh, have a clamp on the top of it here and I just clamp the current transformer there and then I can, I can, I can wind it. Uh, I made this uh, device here to uh, thread the uh, magnet wire on and you put it in the center of the current transformer here wind this with wire and then wind the wire onto the current transformer. I just made this out of a piece of PVC pipe that I put in the oven and uh, got it soft and bent it in a circle and then cut a slit into it so that I could wrap a lot of wire around it. And uh, just uh, saves me from uh, having to uh, do as many splices in my current transformers.